spin this, if it's, after it's unlocked, just spin this around until these scribe marks become clear and then it's focused for your eye. Tighten it back down because it will, as you're moving the camera around, it can wander, bump it. It's fairly loose. And then uh, it's focused. It's very, very quick. We have definitely seen the difference when people don't, uh, don't focus it. Any imperfections are <laughs> greatly magnified. The image that you're going to see on film, uh, anywhere actually around this uh, somewhat elliptical uh, diagram, the outside, um, we tell you to use the four corner brackets here because that will safely be projected anytime you're, uh, we use a, uh, it, it'll vary from one 16 millimeter projector to another, but generally speaking, if you keep inside these four brackets, it's going to be on film. I realize this is a, a refresher in some regards for some of you, but uh, we'll press on like um, the two types of film we'll be using, 100 for your outside and 320 for uh, interior or exterior with low light. Your manual film advance, you really shouldn't need to mess with this if everything's going nominally. It should turn. Test button. This used to be our battery test. Okay, no longer the battery test. Battery test is on the battery. Uh, we use this test button now when you've uh, loaded a mag or a mag has never been put on the camera before. Put it on the camera, push the button, 1001, 1002, it lets the little claw pick up the film. You know, we used to set the film on there and line up three empty perfs, and we don't do that anymore. We, we talked to Airflex and uh, looked at their procedures, and they said they've had excellent success with just pushing this button and letting the claw pick itself up, uh, pick the film up itself. So. All you would have to do is just make sure the loops are about even like we used to do anyway and then put it on and push the button for a couple of seconds and it'll, it'll take care of the rest. It'll actually pull film at one frame per second, approximately one frame per second. If, uh, we haven't had a problem with that. Just, yes, you still want to do that. You still do that. Every time you put, in fact, it, it helps to do it anytime you've taken a mag off and put it back on. Just just be on the safe side. Just push the button for a couple of frames. You know, we're only pulling two frames through and this thing, it runs through like uh, uh, seven inches per second. So that. Uh, that one or two frames that you, three frames you pull through there, it's, uh, it's not an impact at all. Okay, and red dot to red dot. This again is the only thing stationary. Flight 31? Flight 31? Yeah, there's nothing, uh, nothing but scene stuff in the flight stuff. It's in the generic. Yeah. Okay. I think right. I got it. Okay, there's a yeah. generic one here. Sorry, I don't have a bunch of them. Yeah. I'll just show you this one. We had to take one of these out, but just, just play with it. Um, just whatever, you know, whatever, whatever you, you know, zoom in to focus. Get a, get the largest image possible. That's that's generally the error people make with this camera, and it's true with the TVs too. Is they sit back here at 10 or 25 millimeters and uh, focus their image, and then if they see something interesting, they zoom in. Oh, that's out of true with anything. Out of focus. You, you bet you. Zoom first and Absolutely. Z zoom in. And, that's right. Zoom in and focus, and then zoom back out. To recompose the way you want that's that's absolutely true so and that's uh we often we often see that and some of the best footage gets uh, trashed because the guys zoom into something really interesting and now they got to search and find the focus because they weren't initially focused so they hold it on there for you and you're in business now that i've seen that i remember for sure we were having to wire this switch hmm. it would not run until we until we wired this thing yeah, technically, you're not supposed to be. I know you guys took that plate off, but supposedly there's nothing behind there that you can get to. Um, trigger, part way down, we're running. Our little green run lights are flickering. And uh, it's actually a little bit noisier than this when we have two spools and it's addition film out. Which way does it turn? Towards you. Uh, Clockwise. It's, it's not locked, right? Yeah. There it is, now it's locked. That's positive. That would work. It's the same one. So we now we have a new photo TV guy. Yay, Mark! You can do all that stuff. Well, you gotta push the you gotta push this button over there. Right. You gotta push in. Yeah, yeah, yeah same time, it. right? Three-handed job. Are you getting another now with the red dot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't look at the red dot. Well, not now that it's. Yeah. It's well, it was a line when you put it in. Now you and then you it lock it in place. Doesn't like you. Well, that's not hard. Yeah, like it. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't seem to the first well, time. Well, that was the first time, just me. That's something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there's not supposed to be any hay in Canada. It's not supposed to be. Now, does this have a T2 setting to it? No, harder. this one, uh, this one is, uh, is just an F-stops, and it goes from 22 down to 1.8. And no filter? It has a filter, but it doesn't have the neutral density built into it because it's got one more stop of, uh, of uh, aperture. I think it was, uh, yes, small. What does this do? Yeah. The only thing macro will do, will mess you up, is if you're trying to focus you know, something beyond 39 inches. And then, what, and that's what, is, what does this do for me? That's yeah. your zoom, zoom ring. Oh, that's ten, the 10, and that's what you focus okay. with when you're in macro. Gotcha. And that's how you get in the macro. There you go. Well, now it all makes sense. I'm in trouble getting this is focused, yeah. Got it in, but it doesn't work. Well, I think you may, you may already be in the motion, so it's crashing yeah. away. Just a little bit. There you go, now you got it. You have to turn it hard to lock it's, it. We had no problem that, after that, that but we went ahead and changed the lenses. It goes and it locks, but it is stiff. The rationale was we wanted all the lenses to uh, mount well, the same. Let's, let's make sure we check the, the flight on. cameras and feel comfortable with how. That's definitely won't let you do it because you'll probably over it. Hey, who got it? Who's got the touch switch? Are you the, uh, we haven't tried to use. We haven't tried to use the camera. See?